Hi, this is Michael, VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln in South Australia. Well, I'm not in Port Lincoln right now. I'm around 20 kilometres away at a location called Green Patch. And it's got a really good hill, about a thousand feet altitude above sea level. And I like coming here because it's a very RF quiet site. There's no radio here at all and no power lines. Um, the closest power line is maybe five kilometres away. Um, it's a really good site for weak signal reception. And uh, it's Sunday morning, just after 10 o'clock local time, and the Horace guys from Adelaide have two balloons in the air, and they've launched them from Mildura in Victoria as part of the WIA annual conference, which is happening this weekend. And uh, they've got two balloons in the air, as I said. One is carrying a crossband VHF UHF repeater. And uh, I'll just go quickly over to the laptop where I'm looking at the... Uh, there's Miljura in the middle of the screen. And you can see the two balloons aloft. Now, the radio horizon is currently here for Horus 26. And uh, I'm over here. And you can see it's really quite some distance away. But I am hearing the crossband repeater quite well. If I turn the volume up on the radio. Okay, so the up, uplink frequency is 438.9. And down is 147.5. And there's a subaudible tone of 123 hertz on the uplink. And uh, we've got some... Uh, And I'm also set up to receive the telemetry from the balloon. I've got uh, an IC706 Mark IIG here, and we can hear that. That's, uh, that's the telemetry coming from the balloon. And normally, I would be decoding that, but unfortunately today, I didn't pack the cable that goes between this radio and my URI, which is the uh, device I use to get the audio to the computer, which is um, one of these things. Uh, a USB radio interface and uh, I normally use this and but no cable and I've got nothing I can build one up with so um, I can hear it but I can't decode it which is a shame because I'm actually hearing it fairly well even though the radio horizon is still some distance away um, so some of the telemetry parameters here we can see for the Horus balloon is current altitude 27 1110 meters temperature outside minus 25 it's going around 19 kilometers an hour um, we can see that's the the one on the right is the Horus 26 balloon and this predicted landing site is uh, about there both of these balloons I believe have cut down um, so they can remotely command a cut down mechanism which will release the balloon in case it turns into a floater and or goes somewhere potentially where they can't get at it. Now the other balloon is uh, Horus 27 which is the balloon right here. Um, that one is not carrying any radio repeaters, it's carrying a, uh, a video camera I believe. It's also transmitting telemetry. I haven't seen if I can hear that one yet. Um, yeah. So yeah, I've got some, a little bit of time before the radio horizon really reaches me. But uh, the repeater is coming through quite well. I'll see if I can make it. And I've got them set up loose. Normally I would put the UHF on this side and the VHF on this side. Uh, the 2820 can do either or either, <laughs> which is... Um, very handy but when it's in this configuration if I transmit on 70 it will mute this side so I don't have to worry about turning the volume down if I had two meters here and 70 here then when I transmitted the receiver would still receive and I'd potentially get feedback because the repeater of course is a full duplex system Let's see if I can make a contact
noisy, that signal. No, not quite making it. that VK3J and I station is not quite making the repeater on the balloon. See if I can make a contact with uh, Graham. Victor Kilo 5, Zulu Echo Alpha. Don't think I was heard. Little bit of fading. I'll try again. That's Alex. Yes, I think I've spoken to Alex before. Victor Kilo 5, Zulu Echo Alpha. No, I'm not making it. Anyway. I'll try a bit later on and see how I go when the balloon gets a bit higher above the horizon. Of course, at the moment it's still below the horizon when it uh, comes to me. So hopefully, very soon, I'll be able to make a better contact. Okay, this is Michael, VK5ZEA, from Port Lincoln in South Australia. Seven threes for now, and I'll talk to you again soon.